this hero is a gift to all feeders of Mobile Legends because all you have to do is go in lane, you don't have to do anything, just pop your ultimate every when everybody is dying. They're back again, they're all happy with you. They could be all swearing at you for not doing anything the entire game. You go until the end of the game, pop your ultimate, everybody comes back to life, and bam, you're the best teammate anybody's ever wanted. Now, I'm not the most professional guy, of course, uh, to talk about this, but I did look at a lot of games. I played a couple myself and I analyzed what would be nice to go with him. And I can prove it to you in the upcoming game. But basically, we're going to start with some rapid boots because you're going to need a lot of speed because early game, you want to be able to catch some people with your chain, bring them back under your turret and pick up some kills or better yet, give it to your carries. And with rapid boots, that helps you out. Not only that, the passive will slow down enemies so that's something you're gonna need until the end of the game and we're gonna move on to enchanted talisman you need a little bit of an HP but mostly we're doing this because of the cooldown reduction and also the passive which is the mana regeneration you're gonna be spamming a lot of your skills and you're gonna need that mana remember your passive gives you that HP regen so that's amazing but you don't have mana regen so you need this to basically allows you to stay in lane as long as possible Moving on to concentrated energy, you need this for HP and also magical lifesteal. So again, this is back to you being able to take up more damage. And uh, by, by taking up more damage, I mean give more damage and also take HP away by magical lifesteal. Um, I wanted to put in a, sort of a defense item, but I decided to go with Courage Bulwark. And it's not the most defensive item, but I think it'll be a really overly great support um, item for you. Um, of course, the cooldown reduction helps as well, but we're doing this mostly because of the fact that everybody around you is going to get that magical and physical defense. And not only that, under turrets, they're going to be able to sustain more. And also actively, you're going to get that movement speed and all that good stuff. So this actually helps you a lot for yourself as well. Even if you're alone, your first skill is already giving you that speed boost, right? And then you want to catch someone, you can pop this baby and then you're going to catch them easily. Not only that, sometimes you can even take Sprint as a spell. So you'll be super fast. Um, fleeting time, purely for cooldown reduction. Um, not just the active, but the passive as well. You pop your ultimate, um, and let's say you kill someone and take an assist, you can pop it back again very quickly. Last but not least is Holy Crystal. The reason we're doing this is pure damage until the late game. Lots of the tanks are being super tanky at that point, and you basically can't kill them. You're not the, the, the strongest here in terms of damage. But this gives you that edge until the end of the game and not only that, you'll be spamming your skills. So if you look at a passive, what happens is after your skill uh, hits a target, magic attack will immediately increase by 15% for 3 seconds. So when you chain, you usually tend to use your second skill right after. So it's going to deal a lot more damage. And uh, this is it for our items. Let me know if you need anything else. Let me know if you think it's wrong. Let's go check out the gameplay and jump down into it. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what is going on with Faramis. Let's get down to it. I picked up a sprint as well. So like I mentioned before, I uh, don't have a lot of choices. Um, my count is still elite, I think, in advanced servers. So I don't have a couple of uh, spells actually. Like Flicker and all, I still don't have those skills. So I'm gonna start with the mid lane. I, I'm not really going by uh, rules or laws of who I should lane with here. I'm just playing my own game. But of course, I'm gonna stick to what is right for me. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this uh, Mia with my second skill. That was my second skill. As you notice, the moment I hit the creeps, it jumps to every single one of them, so it's sort of split. And I'm collecting the souls, so you can see my HP is back to full. Um, and that's exactly what happens. So unfortunately, because this is a spectator mode, you can't really see how many souls I'm collecting. Uh, but if you uh, watch some of my streams, I actually streamed a video with Farmers, you'll see the number of souls. So the maximum, stack of souls you can collect is 18 souls and um, that will take I don't know, a second like I mentioned before 90% off of your death timer so you'll probably come back in a couple of seconds like three four seconds you'll see it later when you die um, just laning with Layla here I think that um, this is a great example of um, you know Faramis right here because we do pick up both of these guys right here and even though I don't get both kills, which a mage would always want to do, I don't care because I'm giving those kills to my carry and I'm making it super easy for the Layla 
to get fat and can you imagine what a game will be with a fat Layla until late game like it's gonna be crazy so I picked up one kill Layla picked up one and we're both happy I just picked up my rapid boots as well my speed is there my first skill is there so I can actually chain people as you guys saw picked up those kills that's why I wanted rapid boots early game like I mentioned you want to be quick you want to be able to chain people pick off those early kills so you have the advantage the entire game now I'm not even afraid to attack these guys as you can see my HP is still full we killed two people almost under the turret and my HP is still full and this explains why Farmus is super great in lanes going up against Lapu Lapu and uh, export the new hero that will be coming out later as well chaining both of them again look at the amount of damage managed to only pull uh, the export as you saw the Lapu Lapu went too far away and the chain got disbanded I'm gonna collect the souls nonetheless <laughs> and got my HP regen as well gonna bring him back unfortunately the target didn't get him but that's still all right. My teammates feeding at the side. Why? Why? Okay, I don't even mind. I'm going for that chain. And as you can see, I'm still going for the chain. And the reason that I don't get that much damage is because the moment, remember, you use your first skill, you get magical and physical defense as well. Um, so it's just perfect. Right here, I'm standing like a dumbass. I think I was eating something. <laughs> I know it's not the perfect game to show, right? Uh, but yeah man you can see so far it's been three minutes I've killed one person I've assisted with another one and I've been fighting off two people in the top lane and I have no issues staying in lane and my HP is almost full um, but my mana is not as you can see my mana is only at half and I'm not even spamming my skills that much so that's why I wanted to get the magical items with the mana regen first um, as I explained earlier because you're gonna need it um, to stay in lane because the HP region will come nonetheless, right? Now this is perfect because we got everybody here um, Oh, just to mention something alpha is gonna be Okay, he's gonna make a stupid move right here But basically alpha actually is gonna be quite strong going up against Paramus. Why because I, I tested it out in this game and I only realized it after this is because when you pull him he can actually second skill in the middle of that right and by the time he reaches you when you pull him He's gonna swipe, he's gonna take your HP, and he's gonna take that life steal for himself, and he's gonna regen his HP. So he's not super great to go up against. Now, what you see me do here, I, I do something that in the original server you never should. I see that guy is super low on HP, I'm just gonna use my first skill to go ahead and kill him. I don't even need to use anything, I thought I can go out here, I almost did, but I did something stupid, I used my second skill. Um, but I'm back to life, right? Like, who gives a shit, guys? I just came back. That is exactly what happens when your stacks are full. So my stacks were full as you saw. I collected every soul that I could and I just came back in like what two seconds? By the way, I just speeded it up while I was getting to lane. I didn't speed up my death timer. It was like two, three seconds. That's why I'm telling you he's great at laning. I'm back and we take down that turret. Just like that. So normally the Kimmy wouldn't be able to stay there because he wouldn't be able to take down a turret as fast. Uh, and Xbox would come and probably kill him off. But because I came back fast, I gave that gold to my Layla and to the Kimi. This is why I'm saying even though you know I have the damage, and look at my HP regen. I have the damage, I can sustain lane, I can probably solo the lane myself. But Faramis will do so much greater as a mage support mixed together. I already managed to get my second item as you can see. That means my mana regen is on point. Look at that, I col I'm collecting my souls. And my HP is regen. This is just looking amazing right now. I'm gonna go for another chain. Didn't get to get the ch uh, the, the Mia. And this is one of the problems. If I got the Mia, we wouldn't be able to get that kill earlier. We might have missed that, you know? We could have missed that. So that's why the sprint could actually be useful. And um, when we get Courage Bulwark later on in the game, and when we can use that active for the speed, it's gonna be more useful as well. Some magic items do give you uh, movement speed as well. If you guys really are hungry for more movement speed, you can definitely go for it. Uh, but this is my choice again. Uh, so, so far, I think the number one tip I can give you guys is use the creeps to your advantage. So I actually, if you notice, I stick around the creeps most of the time. You can see right here, I see bottom lane is empty. You know what? I'm going to go lane myself. I know I'm a support, but I'm going to make sure I can take it. This is something I wanted to prove. I don't know if you just noticed it. I didn't hit that minion. I just wanted to check 
to see if I still get a soul out of it if I don't hit a minion myself and you can see that's the thing I think he's pretty broken because of that like even if you don't last hit you can still collect souls which basically gives you free HP regen like if, if you're just standing beside and just walking over minions that are dying uh, but yeah, my number one tip is guys stick around with creeps. Make sure you're fighting around creeps all the time uh, It can be very advantageous for you. This guy. I don't know what he's doing Teresa comes in here thinking he can actually take us down uses his ultimate pulls us in but no This is the first time I'm popping my ultimate. I thought we we're gonna die over there I just didn't want to risk it, but I die myself. So the Mia comes in. I didn't see the Mia. He, she was in the bush but I'm resurrected and I chained her so she thought she can run away Actually, she probably could have gone to the right side, but the moment I chained her, she knew she had nowhere to go. And you know what? Who cares? The Mia is still dead, right, for another 10 seconds, and I'm alive because of my death timer. Now, this is something I want to notice. Did you guys see? Okay, we're going to replay this again, okay? I'm just going to... I'm sorry. I have to replay this for you guys. While I was fighting off Mia right here, okay? Just, just watch this part, okay? Just watch this part. I came back after two seconds, right? And Mia, if you look at my mouse died as well we were all in the bottom over here no one is protecting top lapu lapu is happily farming the top lane in any situation he would have been able to take down the top turret but i came back after two seconds i have sprint i have my first skill and both of them give me speed and i have my rapid boots i do speed it up here okay notice that i do speed up the spectator mode but i look at how fast i get to the turret and save the turret I saw he's taking down the turret. I do speed up the game, but look at how fast. He's not able to take it down less than half health, and I'm already back, and I saved the turret. This is not a thing you can do with all heroes, and uh, that's one of the reasons I love to play with farmers. This is super important. Come back, save the turret. Lapu Lapu is still there. We're definitely going to take that kill, by the way, if you guys didn't notice. I'm, I'm going to take that kill with uh, my fellow... Fanny again collecting that soul again. It's not just about the HP region guys Collect the soul for that stack come back as soon as you can to the game so far every time I die come back after two seconds and It makes the game a lot more interesting as a farmers player if you guys as well are noobs and beginners I think this hero. Oh, by the way, sorry. It got sort of stuck here. Let me change the second video Sorry about that. The video got stuck the screen recording what I wanted to say is, if you guys are a newbie in Mobile Legends, this is like the perfect hero for pros and noobs at the same time, for all levels of Mobile Legends players. Because if you're a newbie, all you have to do is figure out when to use your ultimate to save your team. You could be the worst teammate until the end of the game. Everybody hates you because you just suck in lane, you suck at everything. But the moment you pop your ultimate at the right time and you save your entire team, not save them, you bring them back to like, you know, take out the entire opponents, like that's when you become the best teammate. That's why I'm saying this 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 hero is super good. So so far you can see I've been playing with two kills, two zero, and uh, sorry, two kills, two deaths, and ten assists. And Fanny has like zero assists. Look at that. The, the comparison. How much I've been giving to my team, saving turrets, clearing lanes, and also getting kills myself and getting assists. Um, just doing so much with Aramis right now. Terza comes in here, pop my ultimate, but fortunately, uh, Layla gets to walk out. So that's good. The thing is, you need to know this. Even though you have the ultimate, remember you're going to die. So you still want to avoid dying. Even though you pop your ultimate, don't always think of, you know, having your ultimate as a safety net. Like, oh, I'm just going to go in and, you know, die. It's all right. I'm going to come back and kill the enemy. Yes, but you're still going to give gold to the enemy. You don't want that, right? Specifically, if you're giving gold to like, you know, already fat heroes, like if you give that gold to someone like Natalia or Selena or a Fanny, you don't want that. So try not to die even though you're playing this hero. Oh, because I know it's going to be tough, right? Because the hero is going to be free, a limited time uh, event fear, uh, hero like Belerick. So everybody's going to pick him up. Everybody's going to try to play him. And it's just going to be a little bit scary, uh, in my opinion. So now that it's going towards uh, late game, as you can see, I'm sticking to some of my friends here. Sometimes I do my own thing because, you know, it's still a bad server game. Um, you don't really take it that seriously. But I try to clear lanes and as much as possible stick to my friends. I think I did not at this part though. So what I do here, if you notice, my friends go for a fight 
uh, in the river. Instead, I'm looking out for the lane and I'm fighting off two people on my own actually. So they're, they're gonna, going up against the Alpha and the Terizla and I make sure these guys are focusing on me instead of going in and helping out my friends in the fight, which is not something you should be doing because your ultimate is super necessary in that team fight. You shouldn't be playing solo. So that's my mistake. As you can see, the Mia is fat. She did take out one of our guys. She almost takes me down right here. So I back off and uh, manage to survive that, fortunately. And here, pop my ultimate again in case we die. The expert comes in with the true damage, but no, we managed to take that kill. So even though I did make a mistake over there, not joining my team, I made sure that these guys die. Um, take that soul, stupid for us. I didn't take the soul. I'm so worried about the turret. I think we're going to lose the turret right here. Like, um, I probably don't have strength anymore. Yeah, I didn't have sprint. But look at that. Look at my HP right now. Okay. Second skill split. Going to take those souls. Regen. Regen. And regen. Wow. Isn't it amazing? That regen. So by this time, I hope I can see my items. I don't know if I pop my items again. I just want to show you guys what I've got so far. I'm just playing around with this guy right now. Zilong is going to come and help me out. Uh, take this skill even though I'm really low. I still don't go back because he might win the fight against Zilong So he's gonna use my chain give him some damage and bam second skill and that's gonna finish him off from the side of Zilong and Easy that was quite easy. These guys think they can go for Lord. They're stupid. I don't know what they're doing I don't know what they're doing man Go in. I'm not even afraid to go in. I just go and chain. I have a lot of speed. That's the thing so I just go and chain them. When you chain them, you do give them... Oh, that ulti was late for us. That was stupid of me. So um, with your first skill, like I said, you do get a, a little bit of tankier when you use your first skill. And uh, if you have rapid boots, you'll be really quick with it. So I just go in, chain them and move back. Um, just to give them a little bit of damage. It's also a good distraction, to be honest. Um, I mean, at the end of the game, at the end of the day, this is a psychological game, right? You're trying to play mind games with your enemies. So going in the middle of them, they get disturbed. They're like, oh shit, should I attack the Pharmacist? Oh no, that's not the right thing. You know, he's just going to be super fast. He's going to get out and he has his ultimate as well. So they're going to be scared because I'm taking a lot of cooldown reduction and my ultimate pops out of nowhere. Look at my HP regen right here, guys. I was almost half health, cleared two waves. I didn't take that one. I don't know why. And here, look at that. Look at that. Okay, okay. We got we to gotta watch this part again. Okay, look at this. Look at this in the map. Two, three of these guys try to come for me. I see that. First skill. Sprint on. What are you going to do? How are you going to catch me, man? That is why I think sprint is actually going to be quite useful for Faramis. There's no way these guys are going to catch me. You can use a sprint to go in and out of team fights. I don't think Flicker would be a good choice. Someone asked me on the stream earlier on YouTube that I was playing Faramis. If you guys want to check that out. Um... It won't be good. The reason for Flicker won't be good is because Flicker will actually probably, let's say you're using your first skill with a chain, you Flicker out, the chain will get too long and it will get broken. So there's no point using Flicker. I think for now, I have to try it myself, but I think Sprint will be a better option. Uh, now, this is the game changing moment, right? This is the ultimate example I wanted to show you guys of you changing the entire game. My team is going for Lord. They're pretty damn low, specifically Fanny. Everybody in the opponent's team knows it. They're gonna go in. Now I'm gonna go and save my team with my ultimate. Check it out. All right, time to go in. Terizla comes in with the ultimate. Doesn't quite catch anybody. Pop my ultimate, Fanny dies. I die, the Mia is super fat, but guess what? Three of us come back, right? Layla does as well, but all of our damage is there. If you guys remember, 80% HP comes back, but 100% damage. We all die, two seconds, and I'm back to lane. Yes, my teammates are still dead for another 25 seconds, but I brought them back, finish off the entire enemies, right? And I come back myself in two seconds, and I can help clear the lane with the Lord. What is that? Is it that, is that broken or what? Lapu Lapu is there as well. Zilong probably wouldn't be able to take him down alone, but because I'm back, I can help him out with that. But he's just waiting for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. He's gonna come, don't worry. Oh, he was waiting because we won. <laughs> I mean, dude, do you see that? This is amazing, guys. This is what I'm talking about when I talk to you guys about Faramis. Like, this is the game changer, okay? Now, as you can see, I've gotten all of my items except... Uh, was it Crystal Energy? Crystal something? 
um, the last item, the one with the a lot of um, 100 magic damage and also if you use a, an ability, if it hits, you're gonna have extra magic damage for the next three seconds. So that's the crystal something. Um, I didn't get that, but I got every other item as you can see and 18 assists, four kills, three deaths and 18 assists. I still got the same amount of kills as Layla and eight more assists than Layla. And this is, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about support mage farmers, right? You can, I am building sort of full mage, to be honest with you. I could go even more damage in terms of magic, but I feel like because of the abilities that you have, because of the amount of change you can bring into the table, I feel like as a support, you'll bring so much more change. Imagine if I just try to play solo the entire game, I wouldn't be able to bring this much, uh, you know, basically impact in the game. Maybe these guys would have picked off a few more kills. The Mia would be too fat if I didn't resurrect my team at the Lord Pit. Imagine what would have happened. So that is my story when I talk about Farmis. I think he's going to change a lot of things when he comes into Mobile Legends. Probably going to be permaban for a little while, just like Harith and Lunox were, or uh, you know Claude or Kimmy. Uh, but this one is going to be even more because honestly, I don't see how you're going to counter him at this moment. Um, I don't think there's any way you can disable the ultimate. You just have to make sure once the ultimate is popped, you're not killing Faramis and their teammates in that zone. Because if you kill them in that zone, well, they're going to come back. Unless you kill them right outside a circle, then you're lucky. So the zone is pretty big as well. There's a lot of ways you can actually nerf Faramis. You can basically, for example, like I said, the passive, right? What you can do with the passive is actually take away the fact that even enemies hit the creeps. Even if they last hit it, you still get a soul, right? For example, taking that away, making sure that if you're the one last hitting, then only you get a soul. Maybe it'll be harder to play with Farmis. I feel like he's too OP at this moment, even though, I mean, I hope Moonton is not hearing this, by the way, because I would love to play this hero. But I feel like he's just going to be super strong. And sometimes it's not right to have heroes that are super strong. And, you know, they come into the game and they get banned all the time. So even if you like the hero, you can't play him because, you know, he's too OP. So... I would love to play him. I think he's a super fun hero. I think he needs to be nerfed a little bit um, in one way. I don't think in, in terms of damage, I think in terms of like maybe collecting souls or the ultimate, maybe the circle could be a bit smaller. I don't know exactly what. I think there's a lot of ways you can nerf him, but I hope Moonton is not hearing me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments as well uh, about the hero. What needs to change? Do you guys think he's too OP? Do you guys think he needs to be buffed? If you think, let me know in the comments. And I'll read them and I'll answer them. And uh, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the first time I'm doing something like this because I got the advanced server. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this for Xborg or Turizla, let me know. I'll make more of it. And also, a full-on tutorial will be coming out for Faramis, just like the one that I'm going to make for Johnson. So this is not an actual tutorial because this is based on the things I know in advanced server. Things are going to change. So full-on tutorial will be out as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did learn something, make sure you give us a like, a comment, and a sub subscribe. See you guys later. Bye-bye. I don't know why I did my hand thing. It doesn't work. It's not. I'm not full screen. Crap. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you click that red subscribe button and also the notification on the side. Please la, do it la. Please la.